think that your perfect day would involve Thank maybe uh, someone gives you a spare sock so you can finally be free. <laughs> <laughs> It all sounds great, yeah. Uh, for once, the shoemaker makes his own shoes and you don't have to go in at night <laughs> and help him. <laughs> it's January, so I don't have to do any toy making. <laughs> <laughs> A security guy comes to help you look after your pot of gold. <laughs> Willy Wonka finally sells the factory. <laughs> yeah. Turns out you're unionised in the chocolate factory now, so getting more holiday days. Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. We're going on tour. We're watching on, you know, let's not do this, right? So, <laughs> Dead Men Talking, we're going on tour. In May 2023, we're going to six venues across the country. We are going to be in, in Glasgow, Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, and London. And if you're not from one of those places, travel. <laughs> <laughs> get a train. Oh, yeah. shit. Don't get a train. Now the strikes. Get a car. Work it out. But uh, tickets are on sale now. They're available at deadmentalpod.com. Go get those tickets. Come see us on tour. It's going to be live stand up and it's going to be loads of fun if you you're a fan of the podcast you'll love it you only have to sit through Rob for three quarters of an hour and then yeah. you get to watch me mm, yeah so if you want to see a live heart attack come to the tour <laughs> pair of cunts Rob Mulholland hello <laughs> what what, what? kind of cunts well a really little one and a big fat one um, hey. hey let's categorise <laughs> That's how we're starting today. Subsection. So, today's show is brought to you by the letter C. <laughs> C also stands for curvature. How's your spine, Rob? Yeah, how's your tits? <laughs> we're talking curvy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Speaking of curvy, how's yeah. your tits? Yeah. You're oh, you're going to laugh at that seg segue, are you? <laughs> yeah. I do really good segues. No, you don't. No, uh, for anyone who's, uh, if this is your first episode, that's a lie. Speaking of uh, gorgeous tits, do you know Rebecca Goodwin was number one on Pornhub this week? She's number one? She was the number one search thing on Pornhub. I didn't know there was a chart, to be honest. In at number three, it's Gangbang. Rising to two, it's Stepmom is courting a washing machine. Dropping down to four, Shannon Matthew. I don't think even at the height of her fame, she would have been that highly searched on Pornhub, I hope. She was by her stepdad. <laughs> Even he's putting that in the deep web, surely. Especially while the police are looking for her. The last thing you want, when the police raid your house looking for your supposedly missing stepdaughter, is for them to search your computer and see that your history is searching her name yeah. on a porn site. I was looking for clues. <laughs> Just really? Yeah. Just seeing if anyone had posted anything. Yeah. On X Hamster, you were looking for <laughs> for clues. How was the search going? Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Concluded my business in about ten to fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. All these <laughs> tissues don't have notes on them, but yeah. still. I've Maybe... got some DNA samples for you, officer. <laughs> Maybe that's how it all started. Just a misunderstanding. He went. I can't find Shannon Matthews anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shannon's missing? <laughs> maybe he was just hoping there'd be like AI porn, like a deep fake. Like maybe he was just a bit ahead of his time. <laughs> it's like, I can't find it. It's not happened yet. AI porn. Have you looked under the bed? <laughs> AI porn sounds like two Yorkshiremen agreeing about porn. AI. <laughs> there is a bit with that, isn't it? Yeah. AI art. Ah, it's bloody well, nuts. Yeah, I just thought, uh, I saw that she'd put it on uh, her Instagram and I was like, go on, girl. Like, yeah. I, like I weirdly felt really proud of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Save me proud on. of yourself, because you're about 90% of those searches. <laughs> 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 Um, you're but, welcome yeah just like if you look at a heat map there's just this like glowing yellow bit over preston yeah. <laughs> oh that's quinn <laughs> had a lot of touches yeah. <laughs> seems to be a very fat fingered refresh happening in preston 
<laughs> Someone keeps pre- pressing refresh and alt. We yeah. think he just means refresh. <laughs> yeah. um, the other search term is hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> also in porn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there must be poached egg porn somewhere. Oh, yeah, should we find some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Poached egg porn? Oh, they're 100%. Isn't I it? don't think I'm ready to enjoy this as much as... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not sure I want to be here for this awakening. I think that I feel like this is a thing you should do privately. Brace yourself, listeners. You're going to find out exactly oh, what sound I make when I jizz. Uh, poached egg porn. Yeah, poached egg. There's no poached eggs. Is it... Oh, there's someone called Big Titty Goth Egg. That's what that's oh, Big right. Titty Goth Egg. I mean, look, I'm not against her work. <laughs> Right, we need to we need to move here before we're doing this whole episode with a semi. Yeah, this is madness. This, but yeah, I thought uh, you know, good on you, well done, and um, I really hope that our podcast played a part. I don't think it did. I don't but... think it did. I think she was uh, doing all right without us. Yeah, she's but doing okay. Shout out to Becky Goodwin. She's an absolute legend and queen of Pornhub. Like queen of a, Pornhub, it is amazing being number one on Pornhub. Yeah, there is. Wall to wall, like hundreds of thousands of sluts on there. And she is the biggest one. Well done, Becky. The best. The best. The creme de la creme. Queen slut. Yeah, the creme de la cum. Absolutely yeah. smart. It's it's pro I don't think there's a more competitive industry than porn. I don't think yeah. there's, there's a more competitive can we, one. Can we knock that off? Just, it's just it's just in me in my peripheral vision. My <laughs> lizard brain's like, eh? Eh? Tits. Um, I, yeah. uh, no, it is very competitive, and like that's why there is, uh, and if you'll pardon the pun, a race to the bottom. Because <laughs> you know, it's like one one lass will be like, "I'm going to take the biggest dick you've ever seen," and then someone else will be like, "Right, well, I'll have two of them at once." And then someone else will be like, "We're doing fourteen. I'm getting three in my nostrils." You know, it's just like more, they just layer on dicks. Yeah. 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 Add a poached egg. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 14 dicks, three in each nostril, and a poached egg on each tit. Trust me, if you wanted to sell in Preston, this is what we've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> we've done the market research. <laughs> is that your businessman impression? You just go like that with your glasses. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Yeah, that's why this podcast has made zero pounds thus far. <laughs> yeah, because your glasses have just been slightly too far down slightly your nose. Slightly too far. Sorry, it's going to push them meetings. up. Business. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think we just I think we just gained three patrons. How about <laughs> someone's just fifteen percent? <laughs> oh my god, someone just bought a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got merch. Buy some merch. Buy merch. <laughs> um, so speaking of businesses, it's not really speaking of businesses at all. Oh, you do shock me. I have a uh, dilemma, and I want you both to tell me what you would have done in this situation. Right. I'm going to, before we even begin, I'm going to assume there is a really easily morally correct way to go and that wasn't the one you went with. Right, okay. <laughs> so, I went for some lunch yesterday. You do shock me. Yeah. Yeah, which, I eat. What a, dis- what a which, fucking which, scoop. Which lunch was it? <laughs> what, sorry? Was this pre-lunch, main lunch, lunch afters? Well, I had a starter main and a dessert. Right. So you, can... you eat like a hobbit, basically, don't you? Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is in reference to. <laughs> okay. Hobbits have many meals throughout the day. What a joke. Yeah. So Why are they so small, then? <laughs> <laughs> they have really little ones. They do like a tasting menu. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> Have a lot of amuse bouches. <laughs> like little canapes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a mini egg on toast, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I went, uh, start a main dessert, three course meal, a, a nice bistro pier. I don't know if you've ever been to a bistro pier. It's nice food, right? Yeah. Sounds French. So, yes, it is. No, no flies on you, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, whatever gave it away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The the restaurant was pretty, it, it, it was almost dead, say, for us and two other tables in a big restaurant, right? Uh, starter count comes out, my starter comes out, mm-hmm. and my other halves doesn't come out. And so I'm waiting, like, do, 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 you know, wait, wait, yeah. wait. And then in the end, I was like, I'm really hungry. I'm just going to fucking start eating. Like, it can't be this much longer. I'm going to stop you there. That people wait. Before for the other person's food to come, I think is the worst rule in the world, and I, 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 it angers me that people do it. Yeah. We, we eat wagamamas a lot, don't we? Which is you know very much you get it at the point it's given to you. Yeah, yeah. fucking go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Right. Yeah. I, 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 I will never well? wait for anyone, and if anyone waits for me, I'm pissed off with them as well. Yeah, well, like luckily, neither of us three have any manners. So like, <laughs> yeah. whenever we eat, it's very much an unspoken rule that it's going down immediately. But I do know other people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's, there? there's that thing, isn't there? There's that thing when one meal comes to the other, the person goes, no, you start. He goes, yeah, yeah. no, don't start. And he goes, no, go on, you start. No, oh, okay, I'm not like yeah. that. It was like that, right? But with how quickly I eat, there's never a meal left when theirs arrived. So yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so anywho, right? I'm about uh, halfway through my pate. Uh, uh, not pate, parfait. Mm, similar thing. Um, and uh, my other half goes, oh, um, is, is my starter ready? And the girl who's serving us goes, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to get your starter. I'll go down and I'll get it now. <laughs> she went downstairs, went to the kitchen, got the starter, came back up, and she was like, sorry, I just forgot. Yeah. And uh, my, my other half was a bit like, mm, it's kind of dumb. But I was like, I kind of like how unbelievably honest she was about yeah. that. Yeah, 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 not making it up. Yeah. Owning it. Res- mistakes happen. I never mind like when someone like owns up to a mistake, it calms me right the fuck down. Yeah. So, mistakes happen. You so know, it annoys me more the lying to cover it up. So yes. right. Main meal comes out and we'd order Christmas dinners. <laughs> what date was this? Today is the Yesterday. fifth. Yesterday. So the fourth yeah. of December. Literally the first allowable time is like, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> Books fizz, please. I, I will eat. <laughs> Just tearing that calendar page off at the end of November, like, finally! <laughs> pigs in blankets for Quinn Quinn. So I have been eating Christmas themed food since mid November. <laughs> I bet, yeah. When I when <laughs> When I went to Leon and had a Chris Massaman curry. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So is that just a curry with cranberries in yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, lovely. It was how, gross. How many mince pies have you had this year? Honestly, I've lost count. But what I can tell you is how many different mince pie makers I've tried. How many different types of mince pie have you had already? Six. Six? I don't have six mince pies a year. Definitely. Yeah. I don't have one. Maybe two a year. I have one every two or three years, and I go, no, still don't like it. Yeah, yeah, so, don't like it, yeah. So I've already had Aldi's own, yeah. Aldi's uh, slow gin uh, yeah. mince pie range, spa, two different types of booze ones, and a, another one as well that I can't remember. Yeah. I think it was like a special, we made this in a shop type mince Your pie. Your fruit consumption goes through the roof in December, doesn't it? The healthiest it? I am. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's the best way to get fruit yeah. is ensconced in pastry, <laughs> but you know, I guess it's something. <laughs> it's like, I don't think that counts as one of your five a day. I think the amount of like sugar and brandy and cream kind of cancel it out. I don't have it with sugar, brandy, and cream. Right, there's definitely sugar in it and okay. often brandy sometimes, in it and cream. Sometimes I'll put cream on the top if I'm feeling fancy, but usually yeah. I'll just eat it. It's just yeah. like a little... Yeah, like a pelican, I imagine. <laughs> just unk, so, unk. so today is the fifth and you've had six types of mince pie and you usually have four in a packet. Yeah. yeah. It's like how Messi has more goal involvements than games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had, he's had more types of mince pie yeah, yeah, than yeah. days in my, December. <laughs> my, my XP is through the roof. World-class <laughs> numbers yeah, you are my, putting up currently. My XP Expected pie. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking goat over here. <laughs> the debate is over. Go home, Ronaldo. It's over. So, right. Fucking peddy pin over here. <laughs> so, um, uh, my main meal comes uh, two Christmas dinners, right? Yeah, what what is she you having? <laughs> uh, if you thought this podcast was getting predictable. <laughs> I reckon there'll be people listening to this that also said, what was she having? 100%, like you can just hear it echoing around the country. <laughs> There's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> so I get there and... My Christmas dinners looked Plural. Incre- yeah, no, I did that on purpose. Um, looked, there was shit missing, mainly roast potatoes. Right. Oh, right. you've got to have roast. Mm. Thank you. So I waited uh, for a little bit. I started eating, and then this one, this hate house. Well, I thought she was going to bring them up. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, she didn't. Yeah. Right. And I went. Uh, excuse me. I said, um, I think this is meant to come with roast potatoes, and she went. Oh, have you not got any roast potatoes? And I went, Do I look like a man who doesn't know if he has roast potatoes? <laughs> and I went, No, I've not, no. And she went, Oh, yeah. 
yeah, I'll go and get them. So she goes downstairs and then comes back up a little bit late. And at this point, I'd almost eaten the food. And I was eating slowly and I'd almost eaten it. Mm-hmm. So there was just potatoes, and which I don't mind because one of the best bits about a roast dinner is, you know, the, the, the carnage at the end mm-hmm. where it's just bits of shit and nothing. Using that to sort of scoop up and put in your roast potato is quite nice. Sure. Okay. So You've got to remember, there's no bits of veg in Freddy's one, though. You know, yeah. like that's what that would be in most people's image. I'd be like, oh, a bit of the broccoli frond so, yeah. might be in there. Not, not in his. Anyway, right? Dessert comes out, and this time it's my other half's dessert comes out, mm. and mine doesn't come out at all. Yeah. Right? And now, sensing a pattern, yeah. I go, excuse me, I said, have you forgotten my dessert? And she went, yeah. Uh, she, she, uh, I, I like this waitress, you know. And then she went was down. She high? She, was it well, Amy sorry. Owens? <laughs> Amy did a much better job. <laughs> she comes downstairs, she comes up, and it's the wrong dessert. Yeah. But at this point, I just don't care. I'm done with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, eat it. Very nice. Bill comes, and they had put on a discretionary 10% charge for service. Uh, Uh-oh. So, no. I it was about 6 quid. Yeah. Okay. Or in to my mind an amount of money that is not worth the argument. Yeah. But it's the principle because you you literally I'm not paying you extra when you got Every single thing wrong. Sure. Yeah. You know what? I would love to be able to say that I would have said, can you tear that off? But I haven't got the ball. I respect you if you did it. If you did no, do it. I don't. See, like <laughs> with with the inbuilt service charge, right? That's just that's that's your bill. I would tip on top of that normally if they've been shit. They As would get I. The extra. As no, would I. No, I just agree. The I, extra I, is the only bit that is uh, variable. If they're like they they have worked there, they have done the most basic function. You okay. Get okay. Bit. So I would agree with you on that. However. I would agree with you if there wasn't literally just us and two other tables in the restaurant. I'd go, uh-huh. they were just busy. And I would also agree, had they not fucked up at every possible opportunity. Yeah, they might just be special. What, well, sorry? Yeah, they might just be special. They're trying their best. You they know? might just be special. Yeah, they might just be special. They need some help, you know. Well, then they shouldn't have 10%. Yeah, well, they have you like know, 5%. I still would, you know, help them out. I it? disagree with putting a service charge on automatically. I do as well. As, as a rule, I think if I want a tip, I will do. And spoiler alert, I don't. Well, I think... Oh, do you not? No, no. Unless they're what? really, really good. That's absolutely insane. So, I, I so t- have, you, have you never worked in a job like that? Yeah, yeah. and people didn't tip me, and I didn't care. Well, that's because you're shit I'm, I'm thinking the Steve Buscemi like, you're shit at your fucking job. Res- Reservoir Dogs. I think if they if they should get paid more, then they should get paid out of the business. Put the price of food up. I'm happy with that. Sure, but, but they I don't, don't. Think, I don't think I should be in the position where I go, hmm, how good was that girl at bringing me that water? And why is it a percentage? <laughs> right? Why 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 do I have to give them more if they bring me out a steak than if they bring me out tacos? It shouldn't be a percentage. Just, oh, it should that, be that's a good point. It should be either a quid or two. They're only bringing a plate. It's still a plate. <laughs> He makes some really good points. Rob, do you want to counteract? Yeah, just don't be a cunt. It's like, you know, because like, when no, you get down I... to, when you get to, if you want to go to this technical court of law approach, sure. But just, you know, it's nice and it'll make someone's day. Yeah, so if, I give them do, some money because they they've job, got a shit job. If they it do... sucks being a waiter. It so does. I'll give them a tenner. Yeah. So they go, so they have a one nice part of their shit day. Yeah, I will give them a tip if they do a good job, but I don't think it should be an automatic tip. It is for I me. It's like, it's, like, it's like five stars in a Uber, you've got to stab me in an Uber to get less than five stars. <laughs> I, I tend to find that in places where they automatically add the tip to the bill, the service is worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I, don't need, yeah. I don't think it should be added. I think that's uh, shady from the company. And yeah, you're right. They should just put the price of food up, but they won't. But that's a separate thing to tipping. I'll still just tip them on top of that. Because often, as well, when the service charge is included, there's often a fuckery with the company where the person you're, who's serving you isn't getting that shit. Yeah, that, that's they'll, what they'll happened get, to like, me. a tiny percentage. So I don't like it being on the bill. I'd rather give someone a tenner cash okay. so I know that they're getting it. But like, I still will. And like, you, you have to be really shitty to not get tipped by me. Like, so, it's the assumption for me is you're getting tipped. Oh, same. But I thought this woman passed the level of shitty required 
in order to not be tipped. See, it's not just shitty for me. If they're just a bit bad at their job, that isn't it. It's they've got to be a cunt in order to not get tipped. They've okay. got to be like uh, Mardy with me, you know, like that'll okay. get you not tipped. But just being forgetful and scatty, I've got to let that go. I'm one of them, you know, like some people are forgetful. So I also I asked, don't like that um, the whole reason that tipping exists is because of slavery. So it is because in America. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry this is sorry, a real thing. Sorry. I'm going to have a real hard time believing this. I'm going to tell you now. 12 years a waiter. <laughs> so what happened was when, when they abolished slavery. <laughs> when, when slavery was abolished, they had to give everyone jobs and they had to pay him but there was a rule set in place that they didn't have to give uh, waiting staff or, or mm -hmm. people who worked in food any money and so people would give tips to subsidise their wages so you don't yeah, actually yeah. have to pay anyone in America any yeah, wage we're not, we're not in America mate exactly so, but it's just carried over from America yeah. as a result of the slavery. Yeah. Nice so the reason thing. that Rob, the reason that Tom doesn't tip is because he's anti-slavery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I didn't realise you were taking the knee before getting the service charge yeah. removed. So, can, re so can, really, can Rob, can you're the promoting bill. slavery, really. <laughs> that's that's how Tom asked for the Billy Neal's down. He puts his hand up. Like, do you uh, do you tip your barber? No. Oh, no, I don't either. I pay on my card. I just like. I'm uh, a regular customer. I go every two weeks. Yeah, exactly. So like, I, I'm always like keep the change on a twenty for a barber. I'll say like, I pay my charge card. me fifteen. I'll give him twenty and say keep change. If I pay cash, Ooh, I will do. Yeah. But I, I always pay cash. Pay yeah, card yeah, yeah. And the barber, you bourgeois cunt. Well, I can't be asked to go to the cash machine. I never go yeah. to the cash machine. But I would just round it up. I'd be like, call it twenty. Do you tip taxi drivers? Yeah, I tip. I like if there is an option to tip, I always do. Always. Like I, I, I uh, you can tell you live off your other house money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I, asked, is he? I always have him when I'm, I'm skin. Like I just, uh, so I, it's like a share the wealth principle for me. Do you, you know? tipping Greg's? Like there's not an option to. There's a little tip jar on the thing. I was. You, you could give him a quid. It's just, it's a bit. It's not, it's, uh, it's not socially set up. Like exactly. That, yeah. Some, yeah. some jobs you can, and some jobs you can't. I will, yeah. Petrol station. If there was a little tip cup in Greg's, I'd give him a quid. Yeah. Like you know, if I walk past a homeless person, I give him a quid or two. Like you know, it's. I will, most of the time, ninety five percent of the time, I will tip. Um, but when you get everything wrong, that's my that's yeah. my bit. And the fact that it was already at, I thought to myself, and my other half was like, just pay it. But I thought to myself, and I thought, have I received good service? And the answer is unequivocally no. And if this wasn't on the bill... It's fucking four in a bed over here. Would I... <laughs> The poached eggs weren't right. <laughs> I found a pube on a wall. <laughs> Four in a bed's the fucking best program. It is good. They are obsessed with poached eggs on Four in a bed as well. Yeah. If someone orders poached eggs on Four in a bed, you know they're a cunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, I they're, like, they're playing a game. I like when they get right underneath and behind like the wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, yeah, yeah. there's a speck of dust here. Yeah. It's like, well, why are you there? Yeah. Uh, Freddie's in a, in a spin off called One in Four Beds. <laughs> Yeah, it's me looking at mattresses, trying to decide whether or not your mum's been wider, <laughs> wider. So, uh, yeah, this was the point where I sort of decided, look, this service wasn't Freddie good makes enough. a stand. So, uh, I thought, would I be tipping if you know if it wasn't on the bill? And the answer was no. Yeah. So I decided to have it taken off, and. <laughs> I sort of said, so the girl comes over, da 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 da, da and I said, oh, yeah, yeah, and she goes, cash your card. I go, yeah. I say, can we get the uh, discretionary tip taken off, please? And she goes, oh. And then I go, yeah. And she goes, I don't know how to do that. I have to get the manager. <laughs> of course she doesn't. She's fucking shit her job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're making it complicated with a woman who clearly doesn't know how to do anything, mate. Like this is this yeah. is also a thing. I often will pay extra money to not have the conversation. Like if I'm shortchanged by anything less than a like a fiver, I'll probably just leave because I don't want to. Sp I will spend three pounds to not have to talk to the person behind the till who goes, oh. Is it wrong, is it? I'll check the receipt and have to stand there while they get a fucking manager. Have the 50p, I'm going. You yeah. are a little bitch, like in life. I just don't care. No, I'm winning. Like no, my, you're not. I you're am, because I'm gone. I'm on with my day. I'm happy. 
Like, I don't you've lost the 50p. money. You've oh, lost no. money by someone I've else's. I've lost 50p. Bruh, no, I'll you said anything it. less than a five. Yeah, because I don't care. Four pounds 50. You wouldn't yeah. be able to. So if I went, if we went to Maybe the bar. Four, if it was like a five, thing, but I mean, like, you know, a small amount, I would just go, because it's it's worth it to me to not have to deal with that. Yeah, if it's a low amount. Like, yeah. I would I would never ask for the service charge to be removed. Yeah. Just, just because of the awkwardness yeah, of it. Yeah, just like, because like, whilst you're sat there having this conversation with this spanner who doesn't know how to work her fucking machine. Yeah. I'm I'm gone. I'm having a nice day. I'm going about about my life. That's yeah. worth yeah, a couple of quid. Yeah, but I think I'm having a nice day because I didn't let incompetency be rewarded. This is it. <laughs> Your idea of a nice day is having a row and then coming out on top of it, and you're like satisfaction. Um, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. being right. Whereas me just avoiding the argument and having a nice time is a win for me. At what point in this uh, story did you go, this will be good on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. yeah. As soon as his first soup didn't come, he's yeah, like, yeah. lovely. Content. <laughs> <laughs> this will be worth the six pounds. <laughs> I'm, sh- I'm sure Freddie, I'm sure Freddie and Tom will fully support me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you fucking didn't, you yeah. rats. Oh, big fat Larry David over here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that, like, I don't think tipping should be mandatory. I think that you do it if you... Look, I will do it as a default. I think rather rather than you having to work to get my tip... You have to work hard to not get my tip. Yeah. Like, like, like that's where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. But... As if the young women on the comedy circuit will attest. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work out to not get your tip. Oh, uh, you mean, like, tip of the penis? Well, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you mean that I... Yeah. Uh, put my the, not not even the whole dick. No, the tip of my well, penis. you know, it's all that's poking yeah. out from your belly fat. Your penis it? is mostly tip. <laughs> it's all all tip now stump. Yes, yeah, on ninety percent tip. <laughs> one of the one of the largest pubises I've ever seen. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Back to your point about tipping. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I morally, I'm right. I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm too much of a chicken to do it, but I would love to do it. If you I, wish you were me, basically. Well, to be honest, most if me and my, <laughs> that's definitely not what, not what's going on with yeah, me. Yeah, that's what he said. Right, <laughs> me and my missus when we go out, normally I will pay for food and she will do the tip mm-hmm. because she believes in tipping a lot more than me. But I'm still, I'm getting a much worse end of that deal. But if I went out. I wouldn't think about tipping unless someone did something really, really good. Then I would, I would just wouldn't do it. Yes, you're a tight little cunt. No, but in this yeah. situation, I'm, 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 usually pay, I'm usually paying the money. I'm mean, paying for the meal. Yeah, but like you know, it's still different. Like with the the person who's serving you in it. I don't know. I just uh, like I just don't give a shit about money, and I know that you know times are hard for people. Spread it about. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah well, if you times know? are hard, then work harder at being good at your job. But like I like I'll tip a delivery driver a fiver for bringing it round the corner. You know what? Like yeah, like you know if you if you bring me a pizza, you get a fiver. A fiver. A fiver yeah. for a pizza. Quite often, yeah. You're mental. You don't get anything. <laughs> oh, I don't. T- yeah, again, I pay before it gets here. Yeah. And then there's what no. What about on delivery where there's a little option to add a tip? Do you ever do that? I'd say never, no. I'd say never. no because there's no awkwardness there because I don't have to yeah, speak to him. Exactly. Do you want to, <laughs> hey, this guy's giving you some food. Do you want to give him some more money now you've eaten it? Fuck yeah. right up. It's not also, now you've eaten it, it's before they deliver it. And often uh, what will happen is they'll like, just take a different order if you're not tipping it. So, like, drop a little tip yeah. on, you get a lot quicker. And well, see, that's selfish and, with, then, isn't it? and you'll have a happy person delivering it. Yeah. But now you've got an unhappy person who's getting their food later because of you. Don't give a fuck. They should have tipped. <laughs> like, now I always took a tip on. I always. am massively against giving people extra money when you don't need to. Speaking of which, <laughs> our Patreon <laughs> is <laughs> patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod or deadmentalkpod.com. Yeah, we've got a website. website with yeah. merch on it and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. a really good website. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, me. Well done, Rob. Rob did a good job. Thank you very Rob much. Did as a good I job. always do. As I good always job. do, dragging this podcast yeah. through. Took your fucking time with it. Well, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> you did take a long time with it. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> that day I turned it around in was a long time. Did it? I? Uh, could have started it. Early. Did I? Um, <laughs> I saw uh, something that has gone viral. I'm sure that you've seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you'll have seen it. Uh, Kanye West's latest oh, thing. God, Can God. we get it up? I fucking. Mate, I found it's it. It's making me so sad. It's really bumming me out. Like, because what what we're watching is a man have a psychotic break. He is 
so far removed from reality. I'll tell you what, right? The minute that he comes on TV with that balaclava over his head. With a bottle of Choco <laughs> Mel. <laughs> and a big puffy coat. And a net that he calls Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> What? He, he had like a little fishing net and he's going, this is Benjamin Netanyahu. I like that, to be honest. I don't, I like know, who, I don't know who Benjamin Netanyahu is. the Prime Minister of Israel. Oh. Yeah. I just one like of, the, one pad- of my favourite lines in Alan Partridge. Uh, Stop going on about Benjamin Netanyahu. You're never going to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just well, like the, I just like the pun of... It's called Netanyahu. Well, that's what this virus he's got with it. But yeah, he's, uh, I'm he's slightly worried deeply, that... deeply mentally ill. I'm slightly worried that I'm going to look like Alex Jones when I'm 50. Going to? Yeah. <laughs> like, Alex Jones looks like you if you had a jog. <laughs> like, that's you cleaned up yeah. looking better. That's him yeah. using his money to look better. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I... Al- minus a trillion dollars. I also think Sandy Hook victims were faking it. So, uh... <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I've done a lot of study. I think Hitler was a really bad guy, and I repudiate what Hitler did. I understand that the British intelligence set him up and used I, him. I, I like Hitler. I, <laughs> Woof. Interrupted I, him to say that. I really. like Hitler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll not have any of this Hitler bashing. <laughs> not while Kanye is on. I think yeah. you'll find I like Hitler. What's, what's really oh, sad is... someone clip that up, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's really bad is like he started out his uh, he started out you know he was like uh, a lot of his uh, lyrics specifically are anti-racist anti-Nazi and stuff he was like very much on that before he had the break yeah Jesus know? walks I mean like he's still very much pro Jesus that bit hasn't changed if he released uh, yeah. a clip next week saying Jesus was a cripple <laughs> yeah couldn't walk at all I just want I just want someone to point out to him that Jesus was Jewish and to watch his little head fall off <laughs> God, you know I, I don't like Hitler. I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not. I the the Holocaust gives him so many not outs. What happened? Let's look at the facts of that. And Hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities. I think God says man should not kill. We should not have wars. Period. None of us should be killing anybody. The Ukraine and the streets of Chicago. All violence. Let's pause though. Like, see, like how he just he, he just can't stay on a thought. It's just it's just a stream of gibberish. It's yeah, like yeah. there's there's no coherent line through it. It's like it, you know he gets asked about Hitler and he starts talking about Ukraine and it just it just he's been like this for a while and it's getting worse and worse in every fucking. Do interview. you know what Schultz said about him? Yeah, uh, and I think this is really good. Is he said that um, Kanye's whole strength apparently is like sampling music taking yeah, yeah, yeah. music taking two things that you never thought would go together yeah, yeah. and making them go together yeah. and when he does that he, he's a genius and what he's trying to do is he's trying to do the same with rhetoric and words mm-hmm. and taking different ideas that shouldn't really go together and pushing them together and he's really stupid and shit and it's not working it's not the same I think I think he tried to do that for a while I think now it's just pure psycho, psychotic break it's like the, there's not there's not that much logic behind it anymore what like, I, I think find... for a while he tried to do things what? like that but it's it's <laughs> I'm not I'm not a mental health doctor but it's something like it's paranoid schizophrenia well, or something what I know? would say on the mental health thing right is everyone's looking for someone to blame right and people are quite a lot of people are blaming Kanye and the people who are blaming Kanye because he's clearly fucking lost his shit. Because, you know, what he's saying is fucking awful. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's people going, well, he's got mental health issues, which he quite clearly does. Because if you look at him right now, yeah, he doesn't look the minute perfectly that he's, healthy. The, the minute that you've got your balaclava over your head and you're wearing a motorbike jacket like yeah. that, I, here, here's who is to blame, right? And it isn't Kanye, right? It's whoever it is that is letting him do this. It's his management. On, it's the people around him. It's it's all the hangers on. It's the yes. It's man, every you know? every TV show and everyone who allows him to go on yeah. the shows, knowing that he is absolutely fucked in the head. They're the people that you should blame. So forget about forget about the fact that you're like, oh, Kanye West is anti-Semitic. Don't blame him for that because he's fucking gone. He's not right? here. He's not here anymore. What you've you know? got to do is you've got to blame the people that are giving him that platform, yeah. knowing full well that he's not. He's well, nowhere he's also near tweeting that about man. shit. And, well, he's not tweeting anymore. He's banned yeah. Twitter anymore. He, he, he can also just use social media. He's got a massive platform. He can. You can't really silence him now. He can go. Well, this is the problem. Wants. Like, there's, there's no one in his life who has the ability to go. A. Hey, Knock it off. We're going to a hospital for a bit to chill out. 
You know, yeah. there, there's no way of that happening. And I don't see any way this ends fucking totally. well. But look, here's the thing, right? Is if he goes on Twitter and he tweets something himself, that's one thing. Because he's in charge of his phone. Mm-hmm. Fine. But with this, a whole team of people that should know better have allowed him to do this. Yeah, yeah. He's surrounded Jones, by vultures. <laughs> well, sorry. It is Alex Jones. Well, I, don't, I actually don't think Alex Jones is the worst person in this. I think that all the producers yeah. with the Infowars, yeah. I think all of Kanye's management, I think it's insane how everyone's allowed. And the thing is as well is that he's upsetting a lot of people who are rightly very angry with yeah. Kanye. But I'm saying like, this is someone who's clearly mentally ill. It doesn't mean what he's saying is all right, yeah, yeah. but it means that why are people still allowing him to say, and I'll tell you for why, is because these fucking info wars and even like CNN and all these big fucking news media outlets, what they do is they can say, oh, well, it's just our job to just report every side. La, just la, our la. money to make money out of it. Totally. But what they're doing is they know that shit like this gets them so mm-hmm. many millions of clicks and views and hits yeah, that yeah. they don't mind massively exploiting a clearly fucking mental individual. Yeah, like... Can uh, we get someone on, like, can you? Yeah, oh, love it. and what I'm saying is, if he wants to come on here and we'll look have at prolapses... Uh, but, yeah, it's like, it, it's um, uh, the takes that I think would be most mental is, like, I really, I really uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are normally, like, you've got to be concerned about men's mental health who are now, like, fuck Kanye. It's like, well, you know, sometimes mental health is messy and it's not, like, clean like this. There's been people being, like, hey... I've got bipolar and I don't do this. And I was like, yeah, I think there's probably a seasoning of other mental illnesses oh, on mate, top. We you romanticize know. men's mental health in particular yeah, yeah. so fucking much because this is what people like to think about men's mental health. They like to think it's this. I'm a bit sad. I'm a bit anxious. I'm a little bit, oh, I'll tell you what, the world is getting on top of me a little bit too much. And then someone goes, hey, I'm your friend. Yeah, and I'm yeah. here for you if you want to talk it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And they go, you know what? That makes all the difference. The end. That's what people like to think about yeah, yeah. when actually actual mental health is just it this. It can be this. Where it's yeah. just, and especially if you have a if you have a psychotic break brought by inc- insane pressures in his life. His mum died from a cosmetic surgery that he paid for. You know, he, getting them fat titties, getting them fat titties. Yeah. Uh, you know, his wife publicly broke up with him, and it was all over, like all around the world, that she was then fucking a white boy with a ten-inch dick. He had a breakdown about that. Rang Charlemagne. It was very funny. Charlemagne, yeah. Charlemagne was talking about how it, like Kanye rang him in tears, like my wife's getting fucked by a white guy with ten-inch dick. You gotta help me. And like, w- why is that an issue? Well, it's just well, gonna fuck. It, you know, it's not gonna feel says. great, is it? For, you well, know. it is for her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, this this is very much the problem, but you know, there's all, there's all these things on top of it. But also, when you're in a position where uh, for twenty years you've been, you know, uh, you've been in a position where no one says no to you and everyone just tells you how great you are, like yeah, that, you that's it, yeah, yeah. you know. And it's it's you combine that with the the narcissism that was always in Kanye. You know, this wasn't a thing that oh god, do you remember his Taylor Swift thing? Yeah, that was that yeah. was a fucking. Well, that was red flag. Well, that, well. Also, he was right. Beyonce's video was way better, and it was fucking ridiculous. It was like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have him on that. Early on, a lot of the stuff that he went, uh, people thought he was mental about, he was fucking right about. Like George Bush didn't give a fuck about black people. He was correct. Yeah. But now, like, you know, he's very far divorced from those yeah. sort of things where he was in control of what he was saying. Like, it's just it, you. You, tr- you watch an interview with him, like I tr- you know, I've tried, I- I've given up myself, and I'm a huge Kanye fan. Uh, you know, I've just found out he makes music as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, like it's just you can't, you, you can't keep a thought together. It's just play blah, a little blah, bit blah, more blah, of this. Blah, Let's blah. see where it goes. Not Irish anywhere good. Stop, and we should all serve Christ. That's what I feel, and I feel like I love everyone accordingly from all the way from the Balenciagas to the Hitler. Pause it. To- Ooh, ooh. Yeah. I love those child pornographic yeah. fucking but the Balenciaga thing's mental. Yeah, I don't think we've mental. spoken about it on it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's uh, it's classic like uh like marketing people trying to be edgy and just like totally fucking it. 
Well, well look, I could almost see. Usually with stuff like this is there's loads of outrage, but what actually happened is like, look, yeah. if they'd have done like a photograph and uh, there was loads of court papers on the side or whatever and they were relating to a child porn case or whatever, yeah. you would go, okay, the photographer wanted court papers. Yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah. read. He was an idiot. Oh, yeah. Well, that so's. was very clearly, obviously done. But then yeah. when you see loads of like little children dressed in yeah, like bondage yeah, yeah. gear oh, and stuff. Oh, it was stuff, fucking rank. It's yeah. like, ha- but it's, 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 it's I haven't seen those. this. What is it? What? Balen- Just Google Balenciaga, it'll come up. Yeah. Like, it's a basic, massive thing of, like, they did, like, a child porn-themed photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I've kids looking sad with, like, a teddy bear in gimp gear. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah even then- the gimp man of Essex doesn't stand for this sort of stuff. <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah, and like in the background, there was like a court document that when you zoom in on it, you see it's about a child porn case. And it's like, it's real grim. Uh, this Also, Balenciaga stuff is so bad. Shit. Who oh, is God, yeah. buying but it? But the whole thing is like a Peter performance Fale. art piece. Pedophile. Yeah. Really rich pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced that Balenciaga is an elaborate prank to prove that uh, rich people will spend money on any old bollocks if you make it expensive enough. Yeah, like yeah. that. I'm convinced of that. Because how else are you selling a high-vis jacket for three grand? Yeah, you know, it's like it's, it's insane. Yeah. But like uh, the the fallout from the Balenciaga thing has spiraled, and people have dug up from ages ago a supreme skateboard collaboration with Jake and Dino Chapman, where there was these like he made these statues of little kids with like dicks for noses. (laughs) 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 Okay, merch drop. (laughs) (laughs) But like also, it was thirty years ago that they made these statues, and like people are digging it up now to be like, look, Supreme is banned. Okay, if anyone's anyone's got a drawing and can draw Rob and Freddie and maybe meet with a dick for a nose. I would really We're like in. to see We're that, in. please. Uh, Balenci dead men talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, you know, I, I would say probably don't use child porn to try and sell your shit clothes. I would say don't use child porn and then just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be very quiet about it when you're using yeah. child porn. Don't use that's, ch- that, that's the not gay Tom rule. <laughs> don't use child porn for self-profit. Yeah. The first rule of yeah, yeah. child porn It should club. be about the art. Yeah. <laughs> about yeah. the creativity, about the process. Yeah, well... <laughs> When you get when Rob gets his child porn, he tips him. Yeah. <laughs> I would do. They're doing a very difficult job. I think child porn actors are wildly underpaid, personally. Yeah, but that tip don't go to them. Yeah. I know everyone's talking about fighter pay in the UFC, but no, child porn pay rates are the real, real problem here, right? They should get at least double. Like you can't argue <laughs> they're not doing a difficult job. What's double nothing? Yeah. They're at least double. I think, look, in an ideal world, they don't do it. But we're not living in an ideal world. So. No, they should get they, they should get pay parity with, like, Nickelodeon actors. I think it should be set for life. You know, Prince Andrew's set a, a price, isn't it? And it's £12 million. Pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nonsense, so, you know. I think that is that per video? Rate. Is that per, like... Uh, I don't know if he filmed it, <laughs> is mate. That, is that per video? Is that for your oeuvre? Right, yeah, I think that's a buyout. I think that's an overall leveraged <laughs> buyout. you can call a series of child porn an oeuvre. When you... <laughs> when you were 12... <laughs> oh, my God. When you were 12, yeah. if... Prince Andrew had offered you twelve million pounds. Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. If he'd if, still be fucking him now, he'd be doing it once a week. <laughs> he would have signed a long term deal. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be going for contract renewals. Yeah. If uh, I'd be like, you know, Paul Scholes was a one man club. Yeah, Prince Andrew would be behind. <laughs> Prince Andrew would be, be behind. One royal man. Yeah. Be a photo of Freddie with a contract signing like that. Prince Andrew with a scarf, yeah. like bummed, written on it. Yeah, yeah. You sh- <laughs> mate, you should see my testimonial. <laughs> Uh, right, we've got Rolf Harris playing on yours. He's going to do a halves for each team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, then why not sign up to our Patreon? It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. And it's just £3 a month. And for that, you get an extra episode every single week. You get access to all the extra content that we film, all the live shows, Rob's Punishment set. Uh, what else do you get? You get access to the Discord c- community, specifically the Dark Room on the Discord, which is where we put all the fucked up videos. You get all that for three quid a month. But most importantly, you're helping to support the podcast and to grow the community because your money helps us to keep the podcast go what are you doing you're poking me in the face poking me in the face okay <laughs> thanks mate that was helpful uh three pound a month and i get to be financially tied to this absolute fucking reprobate uh thanks <laughs>
Speaking of people having sex with people that they shouldn't have had sex with. <laughs> we're so here, we're, 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 we're deeply what? concerned by this. Uh, someone sent us in, uh, Kane Milnes sent us a, a story on Patreon. If you want to send us a story in, you can. We might read it. Probably won't. We might do. Yeah. Uh, so the headline of this is a Vice article is conclusive proof that, you know, that there is no God and humans are essentially evil. Oh, this is the girl that I didn't tip yesterday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Pony. A poor little brain damaged girl trying her best in a <laughs> restaurant, didn't get a tip, and now she can't afford surgery. So this is Pony, she's an orangutan. Is that orangutan in blackface? <laughs> well, whoa. Pony's an orangutan from a prostitute village in Borneo. Sorry. Right. Wait, wait, does wait. Does that mean you can rent out the village and fuck it? Or does it mean that <laughs> <laughs> everyone in the village is a prostitute? I think it's the second. Right. Like one of those places in like Hamburg where they've got like four stories of whores. That's Reaper Barn. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, we, this is Pony. Da, da, da. We found her chained to a wall lying on a mattress. She'd been shaved all over her body. If a man walked near her, she would turn herself around, present herself, and start gyrating and going through the motions. Little twerking monkey. She was being used as a sex slave. Please, is there a video? Please. <laughs> there is not a video, I'm afraid. Oh, God. Well, like... She's it's... probably about six or seven years old when we rescued her. Wow, not even an adult. It's ma- Well, I don't know what that is in monkey years. <laughs> um, but that's the worst thing about being a monkey. The rapes feel seven times as long. <laughs> I she'll, never, she'll never eat a banana the same. <laughs> What, what's really sad about this is, right, even when people are fucking a monkey, they don't want it to be hairy. <laughs> <laughs> They've shaved the monkey. Yeah, in the 80s, it all changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you can go, like, next door, there's, like, a vintage monkey that's full hair. <laughs> proper the, bush. Proper monkey bush. Yeah, for the people who want a niche monkey. Yeah. So, so let that be a lesson, yeah. ladies, right? <laughs> so, do you know what? To be fair to her, uh, so, so to be fair to uh, Pony's captors, Quite nice to give it a mattress. I think that's. I think that's the yeah, mainly for the <laughs> bloke's knees rather than her comfort, mate. Oh right. And like, I don't think we need to be fair to Pony's captors, to be honest. <laughs> Thanks for providing some balance on on the side of the monkey rapists. <laughs> Cheers, mate. This is how we fucking got monkeypox. This is how we got HIV. How are people not learning not to fuck monkeys? We're getting a lot of messages from God that it's not okay to put your dick in a monkey. Yeah. And people are still going for it. Um, she'd been held captive by a madam for a long time. The madam refused to give up the animal because everyone loved Pony and she was a big part of their income. They also thought Pony was lucky <laughs> as she would pick winning lottery numbers. <laughs> Maybe- Sorry, this monkey won the lottery and she still has to get bummed <laughs> for cash. Give her a... Cut of her fucking winnings. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking God. This is a millionaire monkey that's getting raped. Right. <laughs> that monkey really couldn't have done any more for that matter. <laughs> this is it. It's, like, it's, it's as bad as that. Like, you know when that guy like won the lottery and like just drove dirt bikes around his garden oh, and wasted yeah, the lot it all out. Yeah. Like, you know, he's ended up with nothing, but at least he had fun for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Give her That's a fucking really dirt funny. bike in her garden. That's really right. funny. Listen to the second question that's asked in this interview by the interviewer. <laughs> Did the clients realise they were in fact getting an orangutan? I mean, look, we've all been on some Tinder dates where they didn't match the pictures. Wait. But fucking hell. Imagine if you went, oh, I'd like to have sex with a woman, please. Oh, human woman. <laughs> it's like, how was it? The hand job was very strong. Yeah. But very not, powerful grip. Not much of a talker. Yeah. Quite wide shoulders, I'd say. Uh, very oh, broad back. Answer, oh, yeah, they would come in especially for Of course it. they would, yeah. You, you could choose a human if you preferred, but it was a novelty for many of the men to have sex with an orangutan. I mean, it is a laugh. <laughs> it is, isn't what it? What a stag do that is, eh? Um, how did you get away from? How did you get her away from there? It took over a year to rescue because every time we went in the in with forest police, the local the officers, <laughs> we would be overpowered by the villagers who would simply not give her up. They would threaten us with guns and knives with poison on them. Fucking in hell! In the end, it took thirty-five policemen armed with AK forty-sevens. <laughs> no, you're not taking our rape monkey. <laughs> to go no, to give her over. What you will film? pry out of this rape monkey out of our cold, dead hands. We will fight them on the beaches. <laughs> we will fight them in the treetops. <laughs> we will fight them on a dirty mattress. It was filmed. That is the saddest mattress on earth. The one that that monkey got raped on <laughs> is the saddest one. Duffy had a nicer mattress. Oh, than we're not this talking monkey. about Duffy again. <laughs> It was filmed by a local television crew, and in the background of the film, 
when we were unchaining Pony, you can hear the madam crying hysterically screaming, they're taking my baby. You can't do this. Just, hey, if you don't want your baby to get taken away, don't let blokes fuck it for money. It's yeah. a top <laughs> tip from old Bobby over here. <laughs> yeah, do it for free. <laughs> Share the wealth. <laughs> exactly. I actually think, to be honest, right, okay, so I think that if you own an animal, you should be able to do what you want with it. But I think that once that animal wins you the Anything loss, you want. Yeah, yeah. So if someone's like putting out cigarettes in a dog's eyes, you're like, well, they own it. How is that any different to making a donkey work on like a field? Right, I I, I, I agree. But the point, So there you go. The point should be... It's a bit do, different. Do, the point should be do neither rather than go for both. I they're think, also, they're also yeah, putting yeah, cigarettes yeah, out on a dog's eye. What, it you're is doing, worse. what you're doing, there is at least a purpose what, to the dog. What you're in the doing, field. what you're doing, is a very westernised attitude because right. you get some to, things about the West are you better. You get to allow yourself to make that choice, but when you live in fucking Vietnam, oh, you can't on, help but fuck a monkey. No, 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 no. Oh, the Vietnamese, they no, go wild. No, for it. Using, they see a monkey, they're just immediately no, 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 no. Got no ashtrays. You're trying to you're trying to undermine what is a very good point here, and that is that it's all very good for first world Rob Mulholland to judge third world people on how they treat animals but really it's a necessity for them because they need to farm and they need to create income and they need to come and they need to come exactly what you're doing is orientalism and saying that because they're from a different place they should have lower standards because they're not as advanced and civilised as us whereas you, I think people around the world have the same capacity have you, for morality have you, and shouldn't rape monkeys have you have you been to Indonesia no I have and, and I'm how, telling you right Right now, without a fact, that that monkey, in Rome? Ever had. <laughs> when in Rome? That, that monkey is miles sexier than some of them women. <laughs> when he got to Thailand, it's actually secretly a male monkey. <laughs> four, this monkey gives four hand jobs at once because he can use his feet. <laughs> Did you get recognised as Pony in, 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 when you was in Indonesia? <laughs> uh, get tied to a mattress. Pony's not had a shave. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub back thicker than before. <laughs> what have they been feeding you, Pony? <laughs> God, just chucking hash browns through the bars. Pony's, Pony's really let herself go. Yeah. <laughs> God, this this our rape monkey has really let itself go over the past few days. Gonna have to put him in the BBM category, the big beautiful monkeys. <laughs> it could be a big beautiful marmoset then. <laughs> um, so what I would say is that if it's your animal, you can more or less do what you want with it, right? But strong disagree. I would say that once that mon once that monkey has won you the lottery, uh -huh. I think it's earned its retirement. Sure. I think at that point... This one goes out to pasture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At that point, when that monkey wins you the lottery... Stop raping it. Yeah. Well, at least you... buy it another monkey. <laughs> well, sh like, share the workload. <laughs> Hire an assistant monkey. Yeah. yeah. Listen, one pony, do days and one do nights. Listen, Pony... <laughs> you get a slightly uglier one to do the days. Pony, now I'm a millionaire. Guess what, baby? You're going part-time. Yeah. So you can't say it's a fucking necessity for these people. They're lottery winners. So... They're doing it because it's a laugh. I mean, well, well to me, they didn't say they won the lottery. They just thought it could pick lottery numbers. Yeah, but why would they think that if it's never done it? <laughs> Surely there must be some evidence for its I mean, lottery oh, no, numbers. I mean, they always just look at as she would pick winning lottery Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it had never been fucked up the house by men before. And they thought it was going to be good at that. I think so, it probably was good at that. Like, It seems like it got a lot of repeat business. The, the, the gyrating rating on demand is... It's this a is clever monkey. This is why what? you should never fuck a monkey in case it's amazing and you can't go well, back. Well, well, <laughs> what, what if monkey pussy is so good? Well, well, what I'm taking away from this is that fucking an orangutan is the best thing ever. It looks like apparently it's great. You yeah. know, they must have very strong, you know. Tight. Yeah, strong muscle, muscle control. I think we've just got an idea for our next Patreon special. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are going to Indonesia. <laughs> All right. Who can fuck an orangutan I, the best? I was going to say Chester Zoo. <laughs> To scaling the walls at Chester Zoo. Mike, we have a look at your orangutan enclosure, please. Yeah. How much to look away for 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> generally in my life, I've not been a big fan of Johnny's, but I'd bag up for an orangutan. Well, that's very nice yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't trust it, even if it's like, oh, I've got the implant. I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not pregnancy I'm worried about. Thank you, whoever said that. That was really funny. Yeah, yeah. thanks for us. If you've got any stories of animals being raped. Yeah. It was Kane Milnes. <laughs> Thanks, Kane. I think that's the first time someone's sent us a story that we've read. Yeah. So, 
Oh, yeah. I know Barry Moore's book. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Famously, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you want to send us a news story. Go Tall for it. tale. Well, that's sad. What an incredibly sad thing to happen. Do you want a lovely question? Yeah, yeah cheer us up. Yeah, yeah cheer us up. No, we'll move on from the monkey rape. Yeah. <sighs> what? Poor little pony. You are. You're not asked, really, though, are you? I'm sad that that happened to that monkey. Are you? Are you actually sad? It, like, it's a sad thing that happened. Speaking of sad things that happen, here's the graphic for the lovely question. <laughs> Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? Right. So what have we got? Well, what have we got on the screen I today? Can t- I can tell you one thing we've got. Top right, we've got Hanson of Umbop fame. Yeah, and then Ian Huntley. Is... Right, that's Ian Huntley, is it? And then we've got a dead a dead person, like the outline, a chalk yeah, outline. Yeah, yeah. Um, Huntley Bop. Huntley Bop. Huntley Bop. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be bop, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be an unbop thing. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to be. Um, it, so is this a person or a thing? It's a person, athlete, athlete. Yeah. Oh, you've just stumped to this one, haven't it? Yeah, it has. Yes, it is a tough. One. Um, yeah. I think you're close though. Oh, let's see, Huntsley. You're close with unbop. Ian, yeah, Ian Bop. Mm, uh, is bop. it Papa Booba Diop? No, <laughs> you're close with Mbop. <laughs> Um, mm. Is it David and Gog? No, you're close <laughs> with Mbop again. Mbop. Yeah. Bop, bop. Think about an athlete. Quite yeah. famous. A famous athlete, yeah. Doesn't, you know. Been in the news very recently. He's yeah. doing very well. Yeah. I don't know. You both give up. Yeah, give up. Oh, yeah. Stumped you. Good. Kill Ian Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear This God. is the worst one we've ever done. <laughs> this is the worst one. So you thought, Mbop, that's the same as Mbappe. Yep. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same. At all. Close in up. fact, there's an extra fucking syllable. I know, but I couldn't think of anything. For. In I fact, didn't just put a letter A in on fact, it. In, yeah. I didn't want in to do fact, that. In fact, yeah, you didn't want to make it so we could get it. Yeah, fact, why do that? Well, fact, because your moment it's too easy, your moment it's too hard. No, no, no. Listen, Mbop and Mbappe are so dissimilar that the M and the B are the same, and that's it. That's it. That's the literally. P? It. There's a P? No. Mbop. Yeah, there's a P in Bap, Bappe there and there's a, a P. P in Bappe. Oh, yeah. I you apologise. And you should have got it on the first bit. Kill Ian. Right. No, no, that, it's that, that's, not kill, it. that's not kill, though. That picture isn't kill. That person's already dead. Uh, and how that's, are they... And how and, are they, and the how body they has already been removed. <laughs> right, it's so far away from the killing that the forensic team have been in it. It's in hospital and someone is probably bumming it. Right? That's <laughs> or. <laughs> The or killing is long gone. That isn't <laughs> kill. <laughs> kill would be a photo of someone with a knife or a gun. That would be kill. Mm, that is dead. Da, 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 that is already bum, dead. I'll tell you what, though. Mm, bummed. He, uh, he nailed the Ian bit, though. Ian, Ian 10 out of 10. <laughs> Can't <laughs> fault it, mate. You chose the best Ian possible. Well done. Yeah. Fuck me. <sighs> Can we have the question? Yeah. Would you like another lo- <laughs> lovely question graphic next episode? Or Yes, yeah, but yeah, be yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> do, hashtag do better. <laughs> Good God. Fucking hell. It enrages me every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what's annoying about it is because there's no way of getting it other than to think like Tom. I know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to like bash my head on a wall a few times before I come to it next time. Right, we've got two questions today. Okay. Linked, they're from two different people. Okay. Some of the things. We've got the first one. Yeah. Wholesome one for Robin Freddy. Uh-huh. Describe what you think would be the other's perfect 24 hours. That's from Ben Blunt. Uh-huh. Right, I, I've got. Okay, this. well, how about instead of trying to be funny? Uh, no, I'm going to try and genuinely actively do it. Actively try and. Right, you. you, Hang went... on, you two are trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's torturous, isn't it? Yeah. So, right, I, re- I reckon uh, your perfect day. Yeah. Um, you're a relatively early riser, I think. Yes. So we're saying what about uh, eight a.m. Yes, that... give you a little bit of a lie. Okay, though. that's good. Yeah, eight a.m. You wake up. Yeah. Right. Six post eggs. They're already ready, right? Oh, okay. There has already been, there is just a wheelbarrow full of hash browns and, and uh, poached eggs, right? That does sound lovely. Freshly done, hot. You can just, there's a fork, wheelbarrow full of poached eggs and hash browns. A wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow. Why, why are they in a wheelbarrow? They, they have to be. Otherwise, you do someone's back carrying this amount of hash browns. And... What, you've got that upstairs, have you, the wheelbarrow? It's just wherever he wants. It's right there. Oh, no, in fact, we'll bring it into bed if you want. Do you want? Do you like eating in bed? Um, I do quite like eating. Okay. I hate eating. Yeah, I get crumbs everywhere, yeah. but who gives a fuck? Right, well, a trough then. We'll call it a trough of okay. hash browns and poached eggs. 
Yeah. Okay. Plopped on to you. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. And also like just a vat of coffee, right? So you can have like seven coffees and shit yourself. That's great. Right? Yeah, yeah. Then I imagine... I that... mean, to be honest with you, the utensils are off, but yeah. that's about it. Okay, sure. A shovel. I apologize. All right, go on. Yeah, and an IV of coffee. Uh, okay. Then you wander off for your first horrific shit of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. going to be about 45 minutes of just violent diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Someone yeah. there to wipe your ass. Yeah. You do not tip them. Yeah. <laughs> the cleaning monkey will lick no, no, your no. bum. The pound, the pound is inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've really got to earn it. Yeah. Get in there, get the blood diamond. Then you get your first monkey hand job of the day. Yeah. From, no, from okay. Pony. Pony's there. Yeah. Okay. Freshly yeah. shaved. Daddy! <laughs> Sorry, what on earth was that voice? This is an orangutan a, voice. Of a, of, a, of a sex slave orangutan <laughs> with learning difficulties. I mean, no, he's quite clever for an orangutan. Yeah, sure. Not many can talk. Uh, yeah, but he's not really mastered it, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are its dad. <laughs> it's still a bit yeah, thick. The apple hasn't fallen too far from the tree, it has was it? was a really clever orangutan mum. Okay. And then you as the dad. What would be your perfect afternoon? I think I think probably you don't have to go anywhere. I think would be part of it. That'd be lovely. So you're like you're in your house the entire day. Nope. Okay. All right. You're in a, you're in a hotel. No, I'm in like a secluded cottage in the middle of nowhere, and nobody knows where I am. Right, including your missus. I'm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Nobody knows where. Just I am. orangutan sex slaves. Yeah, I mean not orangutan sex slaves. Right. You've got a VR I helmet, think, I th a flashlight. I think and I'm going to connection uh, to like a live stream from a zoo. <laughs> I imagine you just sit about all day getting wanked off by a machine eating yeah, hash yeah. browns so it's, so it's a VR headset yeah. like this and my dick's in a flashlight yeah. and then also I actually have control of like a little Asimo robot yeah. in a zoo yeah. and it comes just... up and just fingers your bum <laughs> no 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 it just fingers <laughs> it fingers the orangutan and then that sends right. the pleasurable signals right right right, right, the right, right. yeah 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 well, I imagine like, I do think yours is proper simple though because I don't think you would go anywhere in your idea no so mine is and it's just simple. food would be what, delivered what, to what you football all football on day. telly yeah yeah, yeah. All your yeah. predictions come right. Yeah. That'd be nice. This, that'd be... Uh, honestly, properly, properly simple. Yeah. Uh, it would be waking up somewhere, middle of nowhere, um, little sort of secluded place, possibly near a stream or a waterfall. That'd be nice. Uh -huh. uh, for you to that, shit. You can, that you can see out the window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I can just sort of know is there. Yeah. Uh, a lot I, of wine, I, I mince would, pies. I would yeah. have um, uh, a lot of wine, definitely. I would have... Um, poached eggs but I would actually have them with salmon and sourdough and then I'd just have a little couple of hash browns on the side which is my favourite breakfast uh -huh. not in a trough that's stupid um, and are you then, saying you turn down the trough this I, isn't the question of what's your perfect day this yeah. is what's Rob's idea of your yeah. perfect day no 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 no, no. Th this is what my perfect day would be this is how close he was right, okay. so it would literally probably be just doing very little of anything yeah and it's just really, chilling. really really I'd depressing. quite like I'd quite like a jacuzzi or something like yeah, that outside yeah. and just to get drunk in that something that can hit the prostate yeah pretty yeah. much pretty much bang on yeah probably have a couple of like nice wanks you yeah. know yeah right okay. now what would Rob's perfect okay so he wakes up at 1pm yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's when my 24 hours is starting yeah he'd, he'd wake up at 1pm and go Sorry, guys, there's a bit of traffic, so I might be late from this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> my perfect day does not involve you. Like, I'm not heading to the studio on my perfect day. So I think that uh, he would wake up and he would be in this really cool city, man, in, like, northern Denmark where everyone smokes weed and everyone is just really cool. And, yeah, it's just really... <laughs> like that, like that sort of place. I mean, I'd like it to be a bit warmer than With... Denmark, but sure. Ah, uh, yeah, it's summer. <laughs> Dan in, oh, get, Danish summer. I'll bring my swimming trunks. It gets hot in Denmark. For a little swim in the fjord. <laughs> it gets hot in Denmark huh? and Sweden. I went to Sweden. It was surprisingly hot. Uh, your your other half is there, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I actually like her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you get you get a message uh, on your phone. Uh -huh. Bading, ding, ding. She dad. <laughs> <laughs> No. You, you've got... I've been looking for you for 20 years. I mean, he I goes, haven't. He goes, he, he goes, let's meet up, but not today. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, so that's just that's something I've got to think about. No, 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 no. no, you, no. You've whiffed this. No, okay, okay. You get... I don't want hassle on my you, perfect you, Oh, day. no, I know it is. You get a call, it's your mum, your yeah. dad's dead. Right. No, again, again, <laughs> that's not perfect, is it? That's okay, okay, okay yeah, how about yeah, this? How about this? You get a message, bidding, bidding, bidding. Yeah. Your ex-missus is dead. I mean, 
Yeah, right. You put a spring in my step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'd rather just not get a message about anyone uh, from yeah. my life. Like oh, you that. get a message? Phone's broke. Oh, that's great. Yeah. No, in fact, my phone is not involved in my perfect yeah. day. My phone is in a river. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're smoking some weed, yeah, and that. you come across this vegan cafe uh-huh. in Denmark called uh, uh, Hygen. See, ideally, it'd be vegetarian, not vegan. Uh, vegetarian, so get, like proper cheese. No, no, but they do both. They do both. Right, right, right. Um, and uh, you and your other half have a lovely dinner there, mm-hmm. and then in the evening. Your favourite band. Which is? is who's my favourite band? Oh. Kanye West. Who would I like to see the most? I am going to go with... Um, the Strokes. No, 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 no. Actually, no. I mean, I love The Strokes, but not my favourite band. I, what did he say the other day? Was it like Jesus and the Moons or something? <laughs> Jesus and the Moons. <laughs> I mean, you mean the Jesus and Mary chain, but no, yeah, like I mean, not Jesus and the Moons. I mean, that wasn't too far off. I mean, not a million All right, okay. miles. Reverend and the Makers are playing. Reverend and the Makers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I like don't know them. if I'd go see them in my garden. <laughs> Uh, badly drawn, I mean, I like, I badly like, drawn boy. Badly drawn boy is you. You think is my favourite musician? It looks Hansen. like it they're doing probably your fa- is. They're doing your favourite song, Mbappe. Right. <laughs> um, uh, okay, your favourite. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think. Your favourite musician might it's Kanye. Be. It's Kanye. I mean, it was, but I, I, I go and see a Kanye show now would be a gamble because you might just get a rant. It's Kanye from 2008. Uh huh. Yeah, he's just on college dropout. No, see what, what if uh, if we go for ideal, I'd want the uh, the Watch the Throne tour with uh, Jay Z. Okay, that, okay. Be you can ideal. have that. Oh dear yeah. God! Right, fine. The Kanye and Jay Z yeah. uh, doing Watch the Throne tour, yeah. supported by Pixies. They're supported by the Pixies, just Pixies, not the Pixies. But it's sold out. God damn. And then all of a sudden, the Danish. Uh, you have tipped me uh, 20 kroner. That is the nicest thing anyone has done all day. Please take these tickets. Yeah. And then it's tickets to your band. So that's you never nice. had it, but then you had it. Oh, that's a nice little surprise. Yeah. And then your other half goes, oh, goodness gracious, mate. I just really want to get fucked up the ass right now. <laughs> Just, just in the time between the the concert tonight uh-huh. and right now, I just there's something about vegetarian food yeah. and Kanye West that makes me want to have a dick up my bum hole. I can yeah. tell you for a fact it does not because <laughs> I, 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 I have tried that combo on multiple occasions <laughs> and it has never quite had the desired result. It just means she gets full of vegetarian food and annoyed by my music. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. uh, you you do that you have bum sex and it's yeah. really you're having a great time sure you have a great time and she goes do you know what uh, don't use a condom just fuck me up the bum and, I mean, I'm not using a and, anyway. and, and, and come inside my bum right and <laughs> and I I that's what I like from now on yeah. I just really that's great morning yeah. noon and night no, yeah. But yeah I just really it's great uh, and then, I think you think I'm into bumming more than I am. And then you go to have a shower. It's, you know, like if someone wants some bumming, then lovely, but it's uh, not like my primary your, objective. You go to have a shower and you notice your dick has grown by well, that's bad for the two inches. Though, yeah. No, no, something about the bumming has made his dick grow. Yeah. And now you have six inches of penis. <laughs> <laughs> Wide. <laughs> uh, great time. Anyway, you go to... I'd uh, rather have some more girth than length, you, to be honest. You, to you, be. you go, to, uh, go to this concert yeah. and you have a route round and you notice that somebody has actually bought you some new clothes, yeah. which for you is some more like off-colour chinos <laughs> and like a top from some vintage shop in Leeds. Yeah. And a new baseball cap that says, like, we are the ones or some stupid shit we like that. We are the ones. I don't know. That's the kind of shit that you were. I mean, it's really not. And then, and then you get some new glasses, but they look great. And then mm. you... I just like the same glasses. I've worn the same frames for years. But they're, you... but they're really good for business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Business. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what. And then you, and then you go there, then bring, 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 there's a phone call. Yeah. And then uh, you get told Rob. Uh, Leeds United have just signed Erling Haaland. Yeah, he's come home. Bielsa's uh, back. He's come home and Bielsa's back. That's bigger than Haaland, yeah. And, it's like, uh, that's my main concern. Can Haaland play Bielsa ball? Yeah. And uh, your dog yeah. uh, has accidentally drunk some puddle water, yeah. but it uh, was actually the fountain of youth. Yeah. In a puddle. And so it's n- yeah, uh, it's no longer old. Yeah. It's a young pup oh, now, and it will nice. stay like that forever. Yeah, this is good, yeah. And then you play uh, that fucking musician's, what, what was it, the run of the dead? 
What? The the Jay-Z and Kanye thing. Oh, right. The Watch the Throne tour. Watch just the tour they did together. Whatever. So they play that. It's dead, dead good. Yeah. And then afterwards, Jay-Z goes, hey, you like smoking weed, don't you? Yeah. And you were like, do I? Yeah. And then you go back. That is probably what I'd say. You, you, you go do back and, I? You, I'd, I'd get sexy with it. You, you do. You go back and smoke some weed. Yeah. And Kanye West goes, do you know what? You are so sound that I don't hate Jews. You'd just be like, hold on. You're right. All that Hitler stuff is mental. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah. to apologise and go to hospital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's it. That's the end of your perfect day. It's not far off. You've done very well. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say throw in about six more slags and some ecstasy and we've got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I could also I could also do uh, Tom's perfect day. Oh, yeah. Wakes from the morning. Uh, and he's six foot tall. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was going to say, I was going to say, wakes up in the morning, checks Twitter, and he finds that men wearing high heels is now acceptable. <laughs> so he hasn't actually got more naturally tall. He's just allowed to wear heels. Well, compared to everyone else, everyone else will be wearing the high heels yeah, as well. Yeah, also, men wearing high heels is acceptable. It's 2022. Thank you. Yeah, Freddie. Yeah. I still fun. think it's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's all right if you're doing it in part of a drag show or that's the look that you're going for. But if I saw a builder wearing high heels, yeah. I think I'd be well within my rights to go, that's odd. Yeah, but I think if a builder was wearing pumps, then I'd still yeah. go, don't wear them, mate. Yeah, it's just a health and safety issue. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 Unless they're like steel toe cap high heels, I think there's going to be a problem. I know a trans builder. Yeah, yeah. He's used to be called Steve, you know, he's called Sarah. Yeah. He's, uh... They've got a house conversions. Yeah, not the most feminine of trans people. I bet. You know, quite rough hands, yeah, I would yeah. expect. Nice, yeah. nice, nice lady. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good story about a trans builder there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to go further and I thought, I do know her. Yeah. <laughs> so and, just... you know, there's no reason to abuse this perfectly nice sounding yeah, person. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, let's go about a perfect day. I'm really yeah. tall now. Uh, well, yeah. Well, you, oh, you, everyone else has got smaller. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if everyone now was five foot two, that'd be yeah. ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rob is actually the smallest because the way that the, the spell went, it's like a Benjamin is, Button thing. Yeah, yeah. Whoever was the tallest is now the smallest, right, and vice versa. Right, yeah, yeah. But you're like the tallest person. And you're like fucking Godzilla compared to everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd love being Godzilla. You, um, uh, you, you move you, into a model village, so you just feel massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody uh, buys your flat. The flat has been bought. Oh, yeah. yeah. That hasn't been mentioned on the podcast, but yeah. Quite okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tom basically lives in Grenfell Tower. <laughs> <laughs> there or thereabouts. Yeah. He bought one after the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah it's like this flat in London's fucking cheap <laughs> never have to worry about a heating bill here do you yeah, it smells lovely panoramic views <laughs> and, and, pan and panorama featured on the fucking <laughs> documentary um, you, someone's bought the unsellable flat good someone's bought the unsellable flat great yeah. um, you, the, the, the convictions have been dropped the convictions, yeah, 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 the yeah, speed yeah. Convictions, yeah, those I've and, and the peed ones, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't need peed or convictions. Yeah, With accusations. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. They, they've all, they've all uh, hushed, hushed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Turns out she was making it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah, uh, about uh, five, six-year-olds in Warrington suddenly can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a dark turn. <laughs> Yours was just getting lovely food and going to concerts. Yeah. Mine's talking about me being a Peter, not a Peter. Fan. Yeah. Although these kids are massive because they were quite short before the old reversal <laughs> went. Yeah. So there's now massive silent six year olds. That's why the charge has been dropped. Everyone's going, you're not six. <laughs> <laughs> six foot? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that your perfect day would involve. Um, uh, I don't know, like getting some good news from the doctors, maybe. Like, <laughs> like your lungs are better. Or yeah, something your lungs. Like my lungs that. are better. I've been discharged from the hospital. Now. Have you? Yeah. There yeah. you go. You're welcome. Um, you You're welcome. You find <laughs> out. <laughs> do it. <laughs> my perfect day, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you find out you can lift your arm above your head. Yeah. Hey, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, no, he's so mobile now. Do you reckon that uh, him getting hit in the back of the wrestling special? Not knocked his in. lungs back into place. Yeah, I think we yeah. fixed him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like an old TV set. Yeah. Yeah. We fonzied him, he is what we did. He owes us a debt of gratitude. Hey. Yeah. It was probably that and not the open lung surgery that I had. It was probably yeah. the, the yeah. hitting with the light. Maybe yeah. uh, someone gives you a spare sock so you can finally be free. <laughs> <laughs> it all sounds great, yeah. Uh, for once, the shoemaker makes his own shoes and you don't have to go in at night <laughs> and help him. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's January, so I don't have to do any toy making. <laughs> <laughs> A security guy comes to help you look after your pot of gold. <laughs> Willy Wonka finally sells the factory. <laughs> yeah. Turns out you're unionised in the chocolate factory now, so getting more holiday days. No one asked me how the hosting of Tenable is going. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a job on that. <laughs> no, I, I no, but for, uh, to be fair, Tenable's fucking shit. Yeah, it's the worst one yeah, it's for serious though. I reckon uh, just being on holiday yeah. somewhere, dead beautiful, probably like with it. your missus, yeah. quite chilled. Uh, Alex Ferguson's back from his alcoholic stupor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aspire. You think you're quite a simple man in that way? I, think. I am a simple man. I think I, there'd be uh, I like nice things. What's your yeah. favourite food? Like a luxury holiday <laughs> is how I imagine your perfect day yeah. to be. Crisps. <laughs> There's a 12 pack of walkers there. Oh, a, a big bowl full of crisps. Yeah. They're the best way to eat crisps. Twiglets? No, they're fucking That's not, no, not even crisp, crisps. You they're fucking sticks. heathen. Twi- Marmite sticks. That's not a crisp. A big bag of Tyrrells. Twig- Twiglets are a crisp. I mean, no. No, they're sticks. They're in you know, the, my missus the... doesn't like crisps. Just, right. what, just all of them? All of them. So to her, Watsits and McCoy's, same thing, oh, don't like them. That Get doesn't it, make any sense. Insane. insane. No, 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 no. Watsits and McCoy's unequivocally are not the same thing. Because if you blindfolded... What's a maze-based if, snack? If, yeah. if you blindfolded me and said, on your life, <laughs> I want you... Right, gun to the head. Yeah. Right, you're blindfolded. But you, the only way that I'm not going to shoot you is you have to correctly identify yeah. which one is a what's it and which is McCoy's. Sure, but this would I be unfair with smell. you. do smell. Yeah, <laughs> this is like tra- testing a sommelier on yeah. where a wine's from, though. Like, <laughs> you'd be fucking no. fine. You'd be like, oh, that was actually uh, produced last year in uh, the north of England, yeah. this McCoy. <laughs> it's a golden wonder. Yeah. No, but, you know, they're not even the same. No. Yeah, not the same category at all. No. But she didn't like Chris at all. And I love Chris. They're my favourite things. But at first I thought, oh, that's mad. But now it's like the best thing ever because now whenever I eat crisps, she all don't want any you. crisps. Yeah. It's ace. Yeah. He is a very simple man. Very I fucking simple, love crisps, man. Yeah. I love crisps. I, I actually thought about making a crisp YouTube channel once and I might actually do it one day. Wow. Just crisps. And also, all day, he's got online scrabble against people who are good but slightly worse than you. So you win all day, yeah, but it's yeah. been a challenge. All right, okay. And there's no... Come up and see. There's no repercussions of There's the no answer. repercussions. No, you win loads of money on a Scrabble tournament. Yeah, probably would do. Yeah. Imagine What's your favourite crisp? Ah, well, you've got different crisps for different reasons. <laughs> what? <laughs> you've got so, different crisps. I couldn't possibly different... be so gauche to right. give such a simple okay, answer. Okay, okay, I'm okay. My reason. okay I'm what's, my... what's the best funeral crisp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best for, uh, probably quavers because they're quiet. <laughs> they're not though. Skits are quiet. Cra- oh, quavers skits are, are probably quiet. quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Skits are probably imagine, quiet. Imagine a body being lowered into the ground. Are you just hearing a loud crisp? Yeah, someone's got fucking sensations. What are you doing? They're crunchy as fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, skips actually for the service. Yeah. I go Pringles for the duke. <laughs> <laughs> so people can do some duck mouths and cheer each other up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the crisp, different crisps, different reasons. Are best bowl crisps are Tyrrells, uh, like bit like, like or, ever... or uh, kettle chips. They're, I know, I know they're the best out of a bowl for watching a film. I know you so will uh, call me a ridiculous uh, stereotype for this, but there is a brand called Yorkshire Crisps, and I stand by. Oh them my being god, with Yorkshire tea, fucking tits. They're not the same company, obviously. <laughs> no, I like, know, but it's just you liking things from Yorkshire. I know, but honestly, I'll bring a bag in. Fucking blow your mind. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like I proper that. good. Yeah. Like proper nice, like uh, like a like a Tyrrell's like a thicker cut, yeah, but yeah. coated in loads of flavour and they've got really nice They're original the best. So got, They've got to be in a big bag. Yeah. You put them in a bowl and you go, I'll just have one bowl, but you know you're going to have a second bowl. <laughs> but you don't let you admit yourself and then let you go, I'm going to have that second bowl of crisps now. The cheeky crisp bowl. gnome. So, so yeah, that- in your dream day, you get a third bowl of crisps. Oh yeah, could I, I yeah. don't think there's a bowl big enough that I wouldn't finish a bowl of crisps. Yeah. This is why you were really confident with the Poppin' On Challenge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, fucking love crisps. I'm going to tell you all the other categories. So, <laughs> best Poppin meal Poppin deal. aren't crisps. But they're close. Yeah, yeah they're close. They're the same family. Best <laughs> meal deal crisp, McCoy's. Definitely. Yeah, You've got to go on McCoy's on meal deal. Oh, no, I go with uh, hula hoops. Yeah, you do like a ba- the uh, beef hula hoops. Yeah. Are good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, always, I always feel like I need more hula hoops mm. at the end. I just feel like beef hula hoops are a fat crisp. Oh, yeah, they are. They're a fat, a fat crisp. person crisp. Yeah, yeah. Just Why don't you go about fuck yourself? Beefy I'm sorry, they're not Yorkshire crisps. You fucking also because they're round. Weird parochial yeah, yeah, exactly. cunt. Yeah, they're just a fat person crisp. 
You get a little fucking trotter in there. You know what? I think you're a bad person, Chris. You should, How only, about that? you should only be able to eat hula hoops if you fit your fingers in them. <laughs> 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 anyway, best butty, Chris. Cheese oh, and onion fucking walkers. Fucking broke another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Cheese and onion walkers are best, Chris, yeah. on a butty. Uh, best after swimming, Chris. Quavers, definitely. After swimming. <laughs> Of course it's it is. Not a category. After swimming, Chris. why are we in crisps fresh out of a swimming pool? Because it's a vending machine. I go. I want something light. <laughs> Best after. I want. I want some food, Chris. but I want something light. So I want quavers all right okay can we can we make a trophy up and send it to quavers for the best <laughs> after swimming crisp you just go swimming then immediately cover yourself in cheese what dust what the fuck are you on about the best, best after fuck, swimming yeah. crisp the best uh, reading a book crisp is what's it oh, no, no, no. no it's not you're gonna get orange all over the paper I you know. fucking savage that's how I realised they were the best ones because I had so many books that were covered in what's it so I was like oh this must be, this must be the best ones because you ruin all your books with it because every time I read a book I think I want some what's it now <laughs> <laughs> the bad for the book. You have loved yourself with what's it's <laughs> into reading. Yeah, the yeah, best yeah. after swimming. <laughs> fucking insane. So I'm sorry, we'll winner. add a little bit to your perfect day. You go swimming, get yourself a bag of quavers on the way out. Oh yes, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do like swimming. I'd probably, about, do, I'd, probably do, I'd probably do it in the pool. I'd go for a little swim, have wait, some quavers, read a book. Wait a minute. It, what, and then later I'd get some Cheetos. What if you're reading a book about <laughs> swimming? What's and Cheetos in the same day? Well, if I'm on all day, I'm probably getting Cheetos. What, they fundamentally do the same. Course. What if you're reading a book about swimming? Then I'd have what's it. Because yeah. it's the book that overrides the swimming. Yeah, it's not the thought of swimming <laughs> that makes more quavers. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm being an idiot here. It's all that. It's all that don't swimming about. It's yeah. all that swimming about. I want something, but I don't want something fat. I've just done all that exercise. I don't want to be all for naught. So then I have the quavers. I can't believe this exists. Oh, I mean, I've got. I've got. Have like a protein everything. bar or something. You know, no, no. We're not saying the best snack for after swimming. We're saying the best. Crisp. What's the best? What's the best crisp? Uh, when you are. On the journey to the doctors to find out whether or not you have terminal cancer. Ooh, I'm gonna go. So, hang on. So I think I've probably got cancer at this point. What? I'm, I'm going because it's the, the diagnosis. Oh right, I thought you out. meant. I thought you meant. Side note: You think you've got cancer? Well, and this you is thought how that you... was how he was telling us. <laughs> yeah. That was how he was breaking. Us. Oh, that reminds me. I've got <laughs> cancer. Actually, I've got that. So if anything, perfect day is cancer's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You get a text saying you're in remission. That'll be a good start. So I'm just on the way to doctors to find out about my cancer. Yeah, look, you're pretty sure you've got it. Right. It's, it's it's a done deal. You've got such a big lump, it looks like a third bollock. Yeah, yeah, you keep coughing blood into handkerchiefs. I'm probably yeah. going McCoy's again. They're good, Chris. Mm. They're good on the road, because I'm moving as well, so I don't want something too big. I want something filling. So I'm going McCoy's or mm. maybe Walker's. Um, also, about... there's a special category that if you see them, you have to buy them crisps, and that's wheat crunchies. Oh, yeah, I like Because they're not everywhere, but if you see him, you go, I'm going to have some fucking smoky bacon wheat crunches, mate. What Do you about? know what? I would put knickknacks into that category. Knickknacks well. I never eat. I miss, only, there's I only miss two cream types of crisps I wouldn't eat. Knickknacks, Twiglets, worst shit. You're mental. Like, I miss cream and cheesy knickknacks so much, you know. They're so know. underrated. They were the best. Oh, uh, ribbon saucy. Ribbon saucy are great. I love a ribbon saucy, but cream and cheesy with the one. And they're yeah. gone. I can't believe that you label yourself as a crisp connoisseur. Yeah. And yet you don't like knickknacks. It's mental. Right, how about this, right? I've got a Christmas morning crisp. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Pringles. you got to have Pringles on Christmas morning. And, and again, mm. you go, I'll just have a few right. Pringles, and I know I'm going to have a full team that, of Pringles. Down a bit that of weirdly yours. makes sense. A Bucks Fizz for your uh, breakfast as well. That's what you'd have, isn't it? On your perfect day, you'd have a lot of Bucks Fizz. I reckon the yeah. last 10 Christmases for breakfast, yeah. I've had sour, a full tube of sour cream and onion Pringles. Because people always buy me them. And I always eat them straight away before I've even yeah. had breakfast. I've stopped. Uh, I haven't eaten Pringles for a while since one of my mates told me about his mum was dying of cancer. And uh, he was like to the nurse, like, oh, what caused it? And they were like, I don't know, it could be anything. Oh. Pringles cause cancer. And I was like, what? And it's like, because they're heat, like potatoes cooked at a certain temperature, Pringles are really bad for cancer. So I've not, I like, it kind of put me off them, to be honest. Yeah. 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 Wait, what? Yeah. Like, I think it's like all crisps, to be honest, but they use like specifically like Pringles, Pringles yeah. in the example. What sort of lazy fucking hospital was this? I don't know. Well, not that great because his mum did die, so uh, they <laughs> yeah. weren't they weren't that on it. You know, <laughs> should have had, should have had McCoy's on the drive, yeah. right? <laughs> in an IV drip of McCoy's. <laughs> right, you're on your way. You and thirty six policemen are on the way to rescue a raped monkey. What crisp are you having? 
I raped. So I'm in Africa, am I? No, you're in Indonesia. No, that's racist. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. wow. So also have a think a about what crisp you would use for your apology afterwards. <laughs> yeah, what's, oh, what's the best crisp. apology video, Chris? Yeah, if you had to make an apology video right. for being incredibly racist, while like eating thing, crisp, yeah, whilst eating a crisp, what is the best think, crisp that uh, says I'm sorry? My guess would be Sensations <laughs> Thai Sweet Chili. No, <laughs> gently gonna, ethnic. I'm gonna go <laughs> gently ethnic. I'm gonna go plain. Walkers. Oh no, that's the most racist crisp. That's, no, it's not. Ready, crisp. ready Solid is the most racist EDL crisp it's you not, could possibly have. Ah, the most, they might as well have Go Back to Your Own Country written on the side. It's a neutral crisp. It's, it's, it's not, not flavor. It's, it's Caucasian. There's, there's no fun that in is it. a Caucasian crisp. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, no yeah. fun in it though. It's I would go as far as to say that I've never seen anyone other than white people eat Ready Salt and Crisp. It's a white person. It's crisp. a white crisp. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a white crisp for white tongs that cannot handle Can flavor. Can I have it without any seasoning, please? <laughs> well, I am white, so Put that's you... why I like it. Yeah. Business. Put these back up. <laughs> Business. B- business is happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you can't have a ready salted. I'd be going for something like really like, uh, I'd be going for like a jerk chicken flavour, you know? Like, I'd be going <laughs> oh, the opposite way too. All right. It depends who you're apologising to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd choose an appropriate one to the ethnic group that I've slandered. Right. Yeah, yeah. Who would you use for the jerk chicken one then? Who's that for the apology for? For Caribbean people, obviously. Ooh. Do you not think they think you're taking the piss a little bit? <laughs> Well, yeah, I wouldn't do the accent. <laughs> would, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> do, you know I, do you know what Chris I'm eating in my apology video? Yeah. Pombers. Oh, Pombers are a no, good place. Just throw, no. just throw people off completely. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine if like, a 14-year-old's accused you of inappropriate behaviour <laughs> and you're there in your apology eating no, Pombers. I think it'd be so funny to be like, have seen Freddie Quinn's apology video? Yeah, he made some really good points. Was he eating pombers? <laughs> <laughs> Why was he eating pombers? What was that about? <laughs> he went through a bag and a half. The video was four minutes long. I'm going to say something outrageous as well. I think pombers are the second best after swimming crisps. Uh, pom bears are they're so greasy, light. They're, they're, they're so light. very greasy. You need a light crisp after swimming. No, they just make your mouth taste of vegetable oil, pom oh, bears. After, I don't think they're actually a good after crisp. After swimming crisps is not a thing. Of course. Not thing. Well, then why the two after swimming crisps? <laughs> it's not a thing. Right. Why do they have vending machines in swimming pools then? Sure. You get a little snack on the way out, but it yeah. doesn't mean there's a whole genre. I think there. it's for the people watching the kids swim, yeah. right? Well, it's for, it's for everyone. Yeah, it's because they know that uh, fat cunts go to like uh, health centres to go. Oh, I'm going to get in shape and have a swim for ten minutes. They go, oh, I've earned some crisps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So it's for that. I, th- I think I, I think it's because I relate that to when I used to go swimming lessons. Afterwards, my mum would get me a little bag of quavers. Yeah, and that's probably. It. Are you a good swimmer? I'm a pretty good swimmer. I did a triathlon once. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I'm a good swimmer as well. Yeah. I'm a fairly strong swimmer. I've got broad shoulders, big hands in it. I've always been quite good at swimming. I've never done it to like competitive level, but I've always been good swimming. I've got good technique. Yeah. Should we? I'm uh, just large. I tell you what, that question of describe each other's perfect day was very long. That went on for a half an hour. That one. Yeah, we're not concise. Yeah, this was supposed to be part of a two-parter. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. if we're you not... want to, if you want to hear our ideas of hell, then tune we'll in for the next, next episode. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always we always leave them one yeah, more. Yeah, like I, I already know there's going to be a little swim with a vending machine that has no crisps. <laughs> <laughs> you got to settle for a chocolate bar after it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. And it's really high up, so you can't reach the slot to put your coins in. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. The quavers are at the top, you can't reach it. Yeah. The only ones you that you can reach. You can't press A1. The only ones that you can oh, reach. the button is at the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only ones you can reach are knickknacks or twiglets. Oh, and you've just been swimming. Just go to the shop. You're really hungry. There's no shops. There's yeah. no shops in this world. Shops don't exist. Yeah. And, is- and then after that, when you get round to the place you're going next, the monkey hasn't even been shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, someone <laughs> spilt on the mattress. Oh, I'm not going to fuck a hairy monkey. <laughs> That'd be disgusting. <laughs> right, thanks for listening. Um, if you've enjoyed Buy us, some merch, you uh, fucking cunts. Right, a few things. <laughs> Buy some merch. Uh, hold on, hold on, sorry. Buy some merch, you fucking cunts. <laughs> Buy some merch. Uh, check us out on tour and become a patron. And you can yeah. do all of those things at our website, deadmentorpod.com. Deadmentorpod.com. Uh, if you want to send us a video, it's 0752064931. WhatsApp only, please. Uh, thanks very much for listening. We'll see you next week. Fuck Go fuck off. yourself. Buy merch business.